What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are about to finally, finally, finally do our broken spaces on the Lights Army account. So, last time we pretty much ran a solo Russell. Um, we did it in quite, I think it was like 26 tickets, somewhere in that ballpark. So we're going to try to match that one more time. We're going to try to do it once again. Let's find all of our actual just six star gear and just take it off everybody for now. Because first and foremost, we need to get our, our one Russell all geared out. Okay, so this is the Russell right here. The HD Holy Attack with the skin as well. We are going to be running an Antler's Cane and we are going to be running pretty much two all the way down the middle actually no not at all we're gonna run two two three two one so not even close two two three two one that looks nice it looks good we are gonna swap out this one right here and we're gonna run a one piece weapon for the ranger set and then the three piece six star gear to get the extra 21 percent attack that looks good um yeah bell rain you're gonna get the full priest gear i think where where's the priest gear do you have some priest gear yeah you you've got some priest gear give me that gear all right you are gonna have that and you're gonna have a demon bell we're gonna hold off on that actually you know what because bell rain's not gonna be used first what we're actually gonna do is the first few waves we are actually going to use our other Russell. We don't have an optimized stone or anything like that, but we're gonna use him at first because the first few waves, you don't need the healing. Actually, you don't even need it like on the Gru. It really comes down to the CC waves that you need to start using those heroes. We will have you set up eventually, don't you worry. Um, We'll just take that off for right now. So we're gonna run the two Russells at first. We're gonna run a Drake and a Rogan. Rogan, what are you going to get? I think you are going to get the Punisher Staff. And then Drake, Gustus Magic Ball. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're going to build them for attack as well because they do make a difference. If you guys saw the Flame Shrine videos we were doing the other day, they were still putting up 1 to 3 billion damage on each attempt. Now, they're getting completely overshadowed by Russell. Russell doing 20 plus billion, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, stone, I don't think we have anything else. Speed attack will have to do. Of course, no assassin gear because we've just been buying ranger gear after ranger gear in anticipation for this guy right here to finally hit the shop. Uh, okay, that looks good. Let's make sure you have gear. Of course, you don't have any. Why would you? Why would you actually be prepared with gear, Heart Watcher? We never keep anything on you. Uh, we are going to leave the Demon Belt right there. I guess we have to bump this down to that. Demon Belt for now is good. I like it. It's great. And then I guess on the Death Sworn, we are going to put the other Demon Belt for this active right here. Doesn't It doesn't say it, but this, this dot it leaves is in fact a burn. So... Uh, we're going to swap that out for the other Demon Bell. We'll have to remember to grab that and throw it on the Bell Rain when we need it. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that is good, good, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we will come back out and use the Bell Rain when needed. So let's really, really destroy our way through these first few waves. Of course, I did a test with an Amon Ra, if you guys remember. So we're going to put the slot six Russell as the more powerful one. Let's get you and you and you and da, 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 da. where are you? you're going to you're going to be way down there because you are a one star death or six star death one. All right. That looks good. Something like that. Monster is the Phoenix fully maxed out. Let's go. This one's going to literally take like two rounds. Maybe <laughs> it's not going to take much. Might be three just for us to actually use the two Russell actives, but I wouldn't be surprised if our slot five Russell does more damage. Let's see that damage. Boom. All right. Great. Yeah, it doesn't. No, nobody really cares about the damage on these. The only thing we care about is doing it in one ticket and one ticket alone. All right, get those actives off. And I don't know how many rounds it actually takes here. Let's see. Let's see what type of damage it takes. 
You know, I probably should be making our Drake faster just to 100% optimize the black hole damage as well. I think we're going to go check that out. I'm going to take one more round. I don't think the Russells are going to get to their active here. Yeah, I just, I really want to get that Drake going first. Really, really want to. Okay, good, good, good. So let's go check that out real quick. Let's check the speeds. Drake is at 13 or 1638. 16, wait, why, why is he so much faster? Oh, Augustus. Wait, you got Augustus Magic Ball? What is happening here? What am I missing? 1638, 1683. Oh, the speed on the stone. Wow, that makes a big difference, huh? Wow, that's a big difference. Hmm. Nah, we're gonna leave it as is. We're not we're not gonna try to game it with the speeds or anything like that. So let's keep on going, keep on trucking. This should go pretty quickly. Again, this one's gonna take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't take too, too long of a fight. All right. Luckily, the synergies with all these newest heroes hitting the lowest health target have really just exacerbated the situation with Drake. I mean, Ithaqua, the reason why Ithaqua does so good with Drake too is because she hits the lowest target, the lowest health target, and Drake puts that debuff on the lowest health target as well, and it just gets a little bit crazy, so. All right. Big actives coming up from Russell's. They both got a Phoenix buff. They're both burning, which is good. Come on, big damage, Russell, right here. Boom. Ho oh, ho, is that gonna finish the first market off, please? Yes, all right, that means Drake's debuff is gonna move over to the new one immediately. It looks like it's gonna take him one more attack, though. I don't think they're gonna get their actives off. I actually think they're gonna kill her before they get the actives. It seems like, because that was almost half her health, and yeah, we're gonna have another Heart Watcher mark on him as well. Ooh, could be close. Could be close. There we go. All right. Nice. Nicely done, Russells. You are amazing. Amazing, amazing. So the really the big wave that I feel like the double Russell might help instead of running the Bell Rain is going to be this one right here with the Gru Wave. Oh, good Lord. Do we watch this one? This is, this is going to take a long time. We're going to skip it like we always do, because the Gru Wave is by far one of the most annoying waves to ever watch. But yeah, we, we one-shot it. We one-tap it, essentially. It does help. I think it saves us like a ticket by having both of them in here. But from here on out, we are going to go back to running... We're going to go back to running our Bell Rain now, I believe. So let's get Bell Rain with... Where are you, Death Sworn? Okay, Death Sworn, we're gonna swap you back to a magic source, and we are gonna come over to our Bell Rain and give her the Demon Bell. That way we're gaining that energy. Feels really good, I love it, it's great. And then we're gonna sit out this Russell right here. So just to make sure we are picking the right one. I know, I usually hate, I hate the skin, guys. I really do, wrong spot. Come on, Barry, there we go, all right, there we go. <laughs> So, yeah, it was the last one there. I just like confirming a lot of the times with the skins, but I just, I, I can't do this skin, guys. I can't do it. <laughs> the, the base skin is just too good to pass up. So, we're going to take you out, throw Bell Rain in. Looks good. Let's fight it off. So, this one really comes down to the CC more than anything. Because I think, I don't know. Let's, let's check out the damage they do to our team. Is it significant or should we run the other Russell still? We might want to run the other Russell still. The big diff the big thing is to see if Heart, War <laughs> Heart Watcher can live here. I mean, the one benefit Bell Rain does have is she can break some CC as well. Hmm. Everybody seems pretty healthy, though. Like, pretty healthy. Maybe we should just go back and use the other Russell. 
Because this looks, especially because the one side bonus of Rogan is that bloodthirst heal that Drake and Deathsworn have right now. But if Deathsworn's not even dying, I really don't think there's a point running the Bell Rain here. We can probably save a ticket or two. Yeah, look at that. 10 billion on that wave. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think if we use the, uh, the second Russell here as well. We'll just throw that back on you. We didn't change anything, so that'll make it nice and easy for us. So we might have wasted like a ticket here by not running the Russell on this one as well. I do feel like on Broken Spaces 6, we absolutely need to run her, the Bell Rain, because that's when the damage really starts ramping up. Really, really starts ramping up. Of course, by doing this, we do uh, we do make our Death Sworn die faster, and we're missing a Glittery Demon Bell for some extra energy. But I think it's not going to make too much of a difference. Perfect. The Death Sworn is already down and out. That's what I like to see. All right. Everything is going good so far. And yeah, if, if Rogan just gets an active on like a Heart Watcher once, like right there. Now Heart Watcher has that little bloodthirst or around her. When she hits, I mean, she doesn't hit for much, but when she does, she watch the heal that she gets off this bloodthirst. Between her heal and the bloodthirst heal, it's kind of crazy high. 11 million healing. 11 million, that's just bonkers. All right, come on now. As long as our Heart Watcher does not get CC'd, I am happy. Start pinging away, Russells. Look at those little tiny 23 hits. Then the real hits come in the 44, that HD attack attack with that antlers cane. So much damage. I do think we're going to need at least, probably need one more attack, I feel like. I think one more will probably do it. Oof. I don't like it when the Russell cc that's for sure. Because we should kill off, I think actually a jar might die right here from the second Russell. Because he's going to be hitting a lot of damage. Is it enough? Oh, it is. So now we're just down to the Valentino for the last five waves. I mean, we might do some crazy damage here. Let's see. <laughs> as long as we don't get stunned, really. Yeah, we're still hitting pretty good. That's great. A lot of arrows coming in here. We got one more active. Probably one more from the top slot six, Russell, as well. What's the end of round mark damage? I got to try to pay attention to that. Let's see. What's the end of round mark damage? Do, do, do. Yes, Russell's poke away. Poke, 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 poke. Of course, I keep missing it. I'm not fast enough, guys. I'm not paying close enough attention. It's probably not much because no one's really hitting him. 26 million. Yeah, it's not that much. I mean, it's it's like a half of a Russell ping. <laughs> so sadly, I think this Russell, the slot five Russell is just going to do absolutely nothing on our very last round. But maybe, maybe the top Russell can kill him. 118 per ping. Man, if we would have had the Russell and we would have saved one ticket right here because we were just barely not going to kill him. That's... That's pretty in unfortunate. Okay, so that should have been pretty much a two-ticket wave. We ended up having to use three. Ugh, bad, bad, bad. So six tickets, seven tickets. All right, all right. So what we're going to do, actually, normally I do continue to run her with the Demon Bell, but this time I'm going to try to use her with some damage reduce, and then we're going to make sure we throw in the Bell Rain. Again, that's only one person with a glittery demon bell, but I mean, I think and I feel like the uh, the Heart Watcher needs the extra toughness here. The extra damage reduce, reduce especially the all damage reduce, because that's going to prevent some of the uh, some poison damage, things like that. Plus, her getting that heal from Rogan is going to be huge. I love it. But in this situation, I think running the two Russell is a little too dangerous. The Oberon can really start going crazy with his damage. And this way, if Bell Rain isn't twined and she does manage to hit an active on the Heart Watcher, there's a chance she gets out of her CCs to keep stacking up those marks. All 
Ooh, you gotta love those dodges on the Drake. It's probably a good idea leaving that Drake in the front. That way he can dodge a lot of the CC that would normally hit other heroes. Ooh, no. Oh, great. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm glad I have Heart Watcher back to E3 just for Purify. It's so strong. Even though she's only level 250, she's a 10-star level, it still works out great. Absolutely great. So everything's looking smooth here. I don't think we need to make any tweaks. That's a cool little aura. Look at that Drake, the aura kind of swarming out of him. That's pretty cool when he gets frozen from the attack. I like it. That was cute. But yeah, I think the bell rain is important to keep everybody alive here. It does seem like people would die without her actually. 116 million. Whoo, I can't wait to see this last round of damage. Come on, Russell. Come on, Russell. Big damage. Let's see it. Oh, he was twined. What? What? <laughs> That's not fair. That's like his biggest damage dealing round. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so we're seven in, I believe. Okay. So that's not too bad. Let's uh, let's do a couple. What is the health at? Let's just do a couple of these because I want to try optimizing this here to use as few tickets as possible. You, you. We're going to try to get this done. And try to get it so that we're down to just the corpse demon. So what we're going to do now is we're going to then swap you back out and put the Russell back in now. Because essentially the Oberon is almost dead. And I feel like we're going to kill him before the later rounds. So I think running the second Russell is going to be fine now. I hope. I hope I didn't make a big mistake right there. <laughs> Because this is the important one. Getting this one down in just a couple attempts so that we can just absolutely go to town on Broken Spaces 7. Because this one right here is going to be the longest and most tickets it takes to clear waves. Alright, that's a girl heart watcher. Keep on attacking. I like it. Ooh, that is a low, low ping damage number right there. Excuse me, sir. Come on, ramp that damage up. We need to get those Heart Watcher marks, but she just sitting in CC. It's not helping us. Oh no, what is this? What is this? They're just stuck in CC this entire time. That's not fair. That's overpowered. Oh, Heart Watcher went down, so we're not going to get maximized marks. Might have been a mistake. Maybe we should have gone like one more. One more would have been good, but at this point though, this should be fine. Because now we are just against the Corpse Demon. So now we're just maximizing that damage and really going to town. So yeah, we can smash this one out now. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks right. No, that doesn't look right. Never mind. It's almost right. All right, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. So now the tough one. So we're going to try to go in with this lineup. Hopefully it works out. There are times when we do take an absolute ton of damage from those Aspen actives. So you just got to kind of hope that Heart Watcher gets hit. Wow, did you see how much Bell Rain healed for? You got to hope Bell Rain hits Heart Watcher a lot. You have to help Rogan hits, Bell, or hits Heart Watcher a lot with the Bloodthirst active as well to let her heal. So far looking good. We have an Ada active, so that one's not too dangerous. Oh, what just happened to our Russell? Our Russell just got obliterated. Oh, and that's the one RNG with Russell versus a Garuda. Man, oh man, is he squishy at times. So, so squishy. Only did 5% damage. That was horrible. You're supposed to do crazy high damage numbers, Russell. Come on now, you can do it. That was just some really bad luck on landing on him a bunch with those attacks. Aspen with the faction advantage right back at him. Man, the amount of healing Bloodthirst does on this team is crazy high. Crazy, crazy high. And I'm wondering if we should drop the Rogan for an Amon Ra as well. I feel like the Amon Ra would provide that nice burst shield so that Aspen can't just one-shot our heroes. 
Oh, man, he does so much damage. You basically have to keep, like, your Rogan and your uh, your Russell at, like, 100% health. I mean, it's round 7. The pings are already doing 54 million. 54 million. Sixty-four. It keeps climbing. Come on, Bell Rain. Big heal. Big heal. She's got the bloodthirst too, so she healed for eight million. Oh my goodness. This one's gonna be pretty good, except Russell. Ugh, Russell getting blocked with that horrify. No. So evil. Eighty-seven million. Okay, not too bad. Let's see if we. I think our previous record was like a hundred and fifty-two million per ping. We should have an active in the very last round, it looks like. 13, no, actually, yeah, we should release the active on round 15, I believe. Oh, Russell. Good Lord, Russell. That is just embarrassing, man. Absolutely embarrassing. I mean, you're still doing a ton, a ton of damage. <sighs> I'm disheartened, guys. I am disheartened, so we're just going to smash the rest of this out. Let's go. Clear it up. Because I just want all those resources. And I'm sorry. I don't have a ton of time today. This is the best part about doing the monthly broken spaces. Is this right here. This chain. This chain right here. You gotta love it. Oh, all that gold. We need that gold so bad. Because we just used so much of it. Well, we did some berry things. We didn't do things as optimally as we should. But it still only took us, I think, 24 tokens. So it was better than last month. I know it can be done even better. It can probably be done in the teens very, very easily if you really want to metagame it out and watch all the fights. But I don't know. Personally, Broken Spaces hasn't been one of those things I want to sit there and pay attention to and focus on. Too much is very, very easy nowadays. I really do think we need stages 8 to 10 very soon. Drake has severely, severely trivialized just about every piece of PvE content in the game besides Sealand. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm hoping I'm hoping they expand Broken Spaces. It does sound like they have a new PvE mode on the way as well. But, I mean, not too bad. 24 badges for an entire Broken Spaces. We got a lot, a lot left over. I think we're going to keep saving them up. One thing that people do tend to do is they tend to throw in a 5-star hero and just smash it. Like with all their badges for resources. But I'm going to hold it just in case we need them down the line. Maybe they'll also have a shop. I don't know. Something like that. So we'll hold on to it. But not too bad. I am happy with Barry doing Barry things and still doing it in 24 tickets. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys next time.